Plus, uh, it's also a known laxative and I just kind of feel weird about putting something that's a laxative on my face. So today I'll be trying out a new mask from the drugstore. This is the Simple Kind to Skin De-Stress Sheet Mask. So this is a brand that I've seen at the drugstore for a while, but I've never tried out until today. And according to their website, their brand is all about skincare that is gentle and effective. There's no added colors, dyes, perfumes, alcohol, soaps, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin, no parabens, no silicone, and no alcohol. And I like the sound of all of those things. And if you're new to my channel and you enjoy watching face mask reviews, the link for my playlist will be in the description box below, or you can click right up there to watch. And on their website, it also says the simple de-stress sheet face mask is infused with active nutrients right into the skin to instantly soothe and brighten stressed skin. Inspired by Korean beauty rituals, this mask is made with using natural fibers so light and soft that it contours to the face like a second skin. Enriched with aloe and skin-loving vitamins, it doesn't contain unnecessary ingredients like perfumes, fragrance, harsh chemicals that could lead to skin irritation, making it perfect for the most sensitive skin. Feel the benefits of a relaxing facial treatment in one convenient, easy-to-use sheet mask. And it also says dermatologist tested and approved ophthalmologist tested. That's a little weird. Hypoallergenic and non-comeogenic. And for ingredients, we have agave, Americana stem extract, which helps moisturize the skin. It's rich in B1, B2, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin K, and provitamin A, and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. Next, we have niacinamide, which is another name for vitamin B3. Niacinamide helps to visibly improve the appearance of large pores. It also helps with uneven skin tone, fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. Um, next, we have caffeine, which has soothing antioxidant properties, and it helps improve the look of red in the skin. Uh, next we have castor oil and nothing wrong with castor oil really. It's just not one of my most favorite ingredients when it comes to skincare. I find that it can sometimes leave like a film on the skin, but that's just more of a personal preference thing with me. Plus, uh, it's also a known laxative and I just kind of feel weird about putting something that's a laxative on my face. Just putting that out there. Next we have aloe vera, which is also a skin soothing and anti-inflammatory ingredient. It also has burn healing, scar reducing, and wound healing properties. And last we have hyaluronic acid, which is also a skin replenishing ingredient. So gently unfold the mask and place the mask evenly onto clean skin. Leave on for 15 minutes and gently peel off mask. Massage excess product onto your skin. No need to rinse. There's no divider in this. Okay, there's no added fragrance, but this does have a smell. Maybe it's the aloe vera I smell. It's not perfumey, but there is like a mild scent with this and ooh, this is a little on the slimy side. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. Yeah, um, I think this one is a little overloaded with product. Okay, this one was insanely overloaded with product. I mean, I can feel it running down my neck. I mean, you can just, I don't know if the water line's showing on camera. Um, even though there wasn't a plastic separator and it was a little tricky to unfold, once I did get it unfolded, I didn't really have any issues getting it to stick to my skin. I don't normally go for sheet masks regularly because I always feel like they're about to fall off, but this one doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. It's pretty much stuck to my face. So the time is 1.27. So I'm gonna go and try and relax for 15 minutes and then I will see you in a bit. So calling the time at 1.42. So I didn't have any, let's just take this off. I didn't have any issues with this one. Um, you could definitely feel the aloe in this. It was very, cooling and soothing on the skin. Um, I guess my only beef, if you can really call it that so far, is uh, just with the amount of serum in this, there is still a lot of product on my skin. And when that happens, I'm just gonna bring it down my neck a little bit. I just, I always have the fear that um, it's gonna leave like a sticky residue on my face, just cause that has been an issue in the past. Give it about five minutes. So time is 1.46, it's almost been five minutes. So let's do a stick test. 
So there doesn't seem to be any sticky residue, which is a big plus for me. I'm always on the lookout for affordable face masks that don't leave me feeling like my face is coated in sugar. So I definitely enjoyed wearing this one. My skin feels nice and moisturized and hydrated. I probably could even get away without following up with a moisturizer. I'm not sure if I want to chance it because we are in the dead of a polar vortex right now. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this one, especially for the price. I picked this up for $3.99 but this is absolutely one that I would purchase again. If you have any questions about this mask, just leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!